ahead and through some of the questions. Yeah, let's go ahead and get in the video. Let's go ahead and do that. Way while not just hanging out. That's fine. That's fine. Um, well, Kevin, I tell you what, let's go ahead and and get a little bit of background uh, about yourself and what you do at GFI Software. Okay, sounds good. So I uh, started out in the IT field about eight years ago as a network administrator in the Air Force. Uh, so I did that for four years. I, I ran a pretty small classified network uh, on the base there in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and uh, did kind of your typical domain controller, exchange, a uh, little bit of database administration. And, um, you know, after four good years of that, I decided to make the move over into the civilian side of things. And uh, I grew up near Raleigh, North Carolina, so moved back to Raleigh and found GFI. And uh, we're based right here in Cary, North Carolina, so it was right. a nice, uh, convenient, close location. And I uh, started out in our tech support department, did that for about two years. And then last January, uh, January of 08, <clears throat> excuse me, I moved over to the sales team as a sales engineer. And uh, so my role on the sales side is to uh, primarily just assist the, the sales team with any kinds of issues, questions, things like that that they run into. Uh, because with our software, and I guess with most um, computer software uh, sales, typically our salespeople are talking to network administrators, network engineers, CIOs, you know, folks who tend to be pretty technical. And right. uh, so when they bring up questions about the software or want to talk about specific installation scenarios and things like that, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's where I come into play and, and help out and, uh, you know, also help the partner community like yourself when you run into questions about our yeah. product line. I've had to use, utilize uh, Kevin's services many, many times in the past. A uh, real whiz on uh, telecom, like uh, fax communication, servers, all that sort of thing. Uh, Kevin, uh, thanks for answering that question. The next question I'd like to know, and, and kind of the gist of what we were going to talk about a little bit, was uh, if you can explain the concept of data leakage uh, and the effect that that can have on a small to mid-sized company. Uh, could you do that for our audience? Yeah, give me uh, one second here. looks like the uh, Skype installation completed. Let me just log in here. That, you know, that's okay, Kevin, because you, you have to hang up this call and, and call back. Oh. If, if So we'll, oh, well. we can skip the video Maybe. part of it today, no problem. <laughs> but we can <laughs> we maybe it do it time. another time. Well, I've got Skype installed now, so we're ready to go now. Oh, it time. is ready to go. Do you want to go ahead and hang up and try calling us back on a video call? Um, sure. Okay. Now, uh, it's a... Uh, my username on Skype is Bruce dot Naylor. Okay. And if you will uh, uh, set me up with a contact, I can okay that and we can take your video call. Sounds good. I'll do that here in just a second. Okay, Kevin. Sounds great. Go ahead All and right. hang that up. All right. So uh, Kevin's going to try to uh, give us a call back on video. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll be fine. He's got he's getting it set up. There we go. All right. So now we're just waiting for uh, Kevin to initiate that call. He's online. There we go. Hello. Hey, Bruce. Hey there. We uh, we can hear you. We we can't see you on video right at the moment. Okay, can you uh, uh, turn up the volume on your mic? The, it's not a good a headset, maybe you can hear. Because I'm not able to uh, really hear you very clearly. Yeah, well that video is initiating, let me just go grab a headset. Okay. Okay, so we're going to be picking up with uh, Mr. Kevin Hodak, sales engineer from GFI Software, in just a moment. He had to go grab a, a headset. No, um, he'll probably once his video uh, once his videos uh, set up, he should be able to initiate video right there. Okay. He doesn't have to hang up and call back. I'm just so he's getting a headset and. Go. 
Hey, Bruce, is that better? Oh, wow, that is much better. <laughs> Loud and clear, Kevin. Do you guys have the video up yet? It still says loading on my side. Uh, we're ready to accept your video call. Well, it says starting video, and I can see you. Okay. Well, since you guys can hear me okay, then we'll go ahead. I guess we'll go ahead. You wanted to talk about data leakage, and if the video pops in, it pops in. Uh, there you go. If you would like, maybe we could try one more time if you hang up and then initiate a video call. Let's see if okay. that will work, if you okay. don't mind. Thank you so much. Yep. Okay. Okay, you want to close that window. There you go. There we go. Uh, hey, Kevin. Hey, Bruce. Okay. Yeah, it, says, it says starting video, so... Okay, it's we'll uh, maybe something on your, you know, your with your video or driver or something like that. But okay, let's get back to data leakage. Yeah, so the, uh, I mean, the idea of data leakage just refers to um, data leaving your organization, and, and usually the term leakage means that uh, it's kind of seeping out through means that you might not normally expect or control. Uh, so most in most organizations. Uh, you kind of understand that uh, you know someone may take their laptop home with them uh, as part of their business operations or they may take documents home to work on them or, or things like that and that's kind of an understood part of the business but where data leakage comes into play is if uh, maybe you have a disgruntled employee that kind of on the side is going to take home uh, customer account records or a, a customer list if you're a sales organization uh, or maybe some type of intellectual property and then in some ways that could impact the business negatively in terms of getting into the wrong hands or uh, the data being uh, compromised somewhere on the outside of the organization or it could just be a competitive advantage type of things that if your competitors have your customer list or your competitors have uh, maybe some of your proprietary code and things like that then uh, mm -hmm. you know can certainly factor in uh, to being an issue for really any size business and uh, here at GFI, we deal a lot with the small to medium-sized businesses, uh, mm -hmm. probably 1,500 users and less is kind of our sweet spot. And uh, we see quite a bit that even relatively small organizations, like maybe a 20-user a architectural firm, uh, that they'll run into issues with data leakage where, you know, again, an employee is disgruntled for whatever reason. And it's so easy these days to fit a ton of data on a very small device. Uh, mm, that they can yes. just slip a USB stick in their pocket, right. copy over, 10, 20, 50 gig worth of information and then walk out the door with it.